The Hungara Ring, about 20 kilometers northeast of the capital Budapest. The nearly 4.4 kilometer long circuit is located near Mogyarod, a little idyllic village with a population of 6,000. The ETRC paddock is almost hermetically sealed due to the global COVID-19 pandemic. This year's races in Hungary have to be carried out behind closed doors without fans. And without some of the racing drivers who, due to different reasons, couldn't travel to Hungary or didn't want to. Amongst them, Sasha Lentz, the man who led the overall standings after the first event in Most and who informed his fans via Facebook. Also missing, René Reinert, André Kurzim and Jamie Anderson. The overall standings ahead of the races at the Hungara Ring. Lentz in first, who won't be racing in Hungary. Behind him, Norbert Kisch, Adam Lachko and Jochen Hahn. Therefore, we can expect the champions of the past nine years with Jochen Hahn, Adam Lachko and Norbert Kisch to battle it out amongst each other. First up is local hero Norbert Kish. He's always been strong on his home circuit, and this year he seems even stronger. With his completely newly built MAN Revesh truck, Kish is a serious title contender. The team has been busy testing after Mosht. We've been here in the Hungaring uh, testing, uh, testing some brakes uh, because of the brake problem we had in Most. Um, and um, I think we find a solution, a good solution. Uh, but yeah, we will see on, on the race. Well, I mean, on the test, we, we did uh, almost four uh, races uh, length uh, testing. So that was, that was nice, that was working. But yeah, now it's different condition, you know. So yeah, we will see. I will, I will try to do my best. Adam Lachko left a strong impression at his home race in Most. The Czech driver in the Bagheera Freightliner is always strong in the rain and will probably not be too worried about good results. Normally we are here in, uh, in May or June, and now we are in uh, October, and uh, here in Hungaroring in October it's very often raining and cold, and we will see it here because uh, here is cold and raining, but this condition I like it because it's wet condition, and uh, you know, I driving. Uh, I like very. I, I like very much uh, driving on the wet condition. We are here, and we will see what happened on the race today and tomorrow. The conditions aren't too easy for the reigning European Truck Racing Champion Jochen Hahn, but the German is optimistic that he can have a say with his Iveco when it comes to pole position or the win. Adam has always been fast in the rain in the past, and you can't underestimate Antonio. If Norbert gets lucky in the rain, we'd be happy for him as we are in Hungary and it's his home race. That would be the same for us at the Nürburgring. The best driver should win, and whatever happens, happens. I won't be upset. We want to learn now and improve over the winter as a driver, as a team, and with the race truck. Let the next round in this never-ending battle begin. On the nearly 4.4 kilometer long Hungara Ring circuit, there are hardly any overtaking opportunities for truck drivers. Therefore, qualifying is crucial. Whoever is on pole position has usually done the bulk of the work already. And, as expected, Adam Lachko is the man to beat in wet and slippery conditions. The Czech racer in his Freightliner posts the fastest time in Super Bowl, nearly one second ahead of Anthony Janiek. Jochen Hahn is 1.0 seconds behind in third. Norbert Kish has some small technical issues before and during qualifying, and he's only fifth. The local hero takes the time to introduce the track for us. Here we are on the, on the hunger ring. It's my home circuit, so I really like it, but it's in wet conditions, so it, uh, 
it can be really difficult in the wet conditions. Uh, the start finish straight is quite long and then the first braking zone is a little bit downhill and uh, quite hard braking zone from 160 and uh, we have a very slow hairpin uh, in the first turn of the of the circuit and then big acceleration a little bit a little bit to the right and under the bridge and then hard braking zone from 160 again and the second turn is also quite difficult because it's uh, it's uh, it's tilting to the outside a little bit so you have to watch out that you don't carry too much speed because it's really easy to go off the line obviously here we are using the 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 wet lines of the circuit turn turn three is uh, acceleration up to the hill try to come out as fast as you can for this straight and then the, fo the fourth turn is what we call in Hungary the Mansell turn if you remember what happened here with Nigel Mansell Nigel Mansell then you know why and this is also quite a difficult turn because it's really hard to see because it's uphill and then down and then turn five is a quite long right-hander it's one of the one of the e e easier turns in the Hungarian and then turn six and seven is the chicane in the Hungarian which is uh, yeah quite difficult especially in the wet it's very tight very slow you have to watch for the white lines and uh, for the limit of the circuit and then Theo Calve here in front of me making a little bit of a drifting on the exit of the turn and then yeah after the chicane you have this uh, left and right hander it's really important to have the have a good line here because um, if you if you don't have the good line then you lose double and then turn 10 and 11 is uh, is getting faster and faster turn 11 is actually one of the fastest turn here on the circuit in the wet it's a little bit slippery so i'm going sideways as well again a downhill braking zone to turn 12 quite slow 90 degrees slow turn very difficult exit because of the of the curb and the, and the artificial grass and then the second to last turn is a very very long left hander also you have to watch for your uh, for your line here especially in the wet conditions and then here's the pit entry to your right if you want to go to the to your team and then the last turn is again a very 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 long right hander very hard on the front tires so yeah in the race you have to be careful here so that you don't uh, wear out your front tires too quickly i'm looking forward for a nice weekend here in our home circuit in the hungaring hope I'm, I'm i'm hoping to achieve some good results maybe some podiums maybe some victories we will see race one on a fully wet track the mercedes pace truck leads the way on the formation lap On pole, Adam Lachko. Next to him on the front row, a surprise with Anthony Janiak. The Czech racer has high expectations of himself and the race. Next to him, the French driver of the Lion truck racing team in his yellow MAN. On the second row, Jochen Hahn in his Iveco with number one on the side. He's on the inside of the grid. And on the outside is Spaniard, Antonio Albafetti in the T-Sport Bernal MAN. Behind them in fifth is Norbert Kirsch, who had some issues in qualifying on the wet track. Next to him, the best Goodyear Cup driver, Stefan Fass, in his Scania. At the five-minute board, the Iveco Innovation Truck sets off on the lap to check the track conditions. With only about 10 degrees air temperature and even less track temperature, race one gets underway. However, it's under yellow flags due to the wet track. Lachko is in front. Then Janiek, Hahn, Albafetti, Kiss, Fass, Calve, and Halm. It's slippery out on track with lap times around 20 seconds slower than on a dry track. The race is green. And Adam Lachko impressively shows that he's a master in these wet conditions. After only one racing lap, the gap is already around four seconds. Behind him are Janiek, Hahn, Albafetti and Kish. The teams follow the race via a live stream. The usual service for everyone who can't be live at the race. On lap 8, Norbert Kish makes a move on Albafete at the entry of Turn 1. 
which the driver in the number two truck didn't expect. He goes down the inside on the shorter line, Kish in fourth. At the end of lap nine, Kish is bumper to bumper with Jochen Hahn. It's really tight between the two drivers. Kish is on the inside again. Hahn tries to fend him off. But Norbert Kish has the better traction and moves into third at the start of lap 10. And in the Goodyear Cup, Stefan Fass has to fend off Theo Calve. They're in sixth and seventh positions. Calve has a go, slight contact, Fass stays ahead. Calve wanted too much and loses ground. After 11 laps on the Hungara ring, Adam Lachko drives home an impressive win with an incredible gap of 24.2 seconds over Anthony Janiek, who crossed the line in second, but is handed a time penalty for track limits, which puts him back into seventh. Therefore, Norbert Kisch finishes second, Jochenham third, Albert Fete fourth. Adam Lachko, incredibly strong performance in these conditions. This man is the master of the rain. The top spot on the podium for the Czech driver. And after a difficult qualifying, Kish and Hahn also on the podium. The result, Steffi Hahn in eighth. That means she will start the next race from pole position. Yes, I like it from uh, when I start starting go-karts, when I have a six-year. Every time when it's raining, I'm on the top. And until now, it's 30 years, uh, until now I like it. Everybody's care when it's raining and I celebrate when it's raining. Stefan Fast wins the Goodyear Cup ahead of the young French driver Theo Calve and Louis Refranco. On pole for race two is Steffi Halm, the German driver in the Iveco number 44. Next to her is Anthony Janiek, who starts again from the front row. Behind them, on the second row, the battle in the Goodyear Cup category. Theo Calve against Stefan Fass. The pace track lap, all eyes on the yellow MAN of Anthony Janiek. The French driver has to park the truck in an awkward spot with an electrical issue. And that causes the race start to be delayed by 15 minutes. But then it's go. Steffi Halm leads the field away, but can't be overtaken as race two is started under yellows as well. The track is still wet. It's not raining as much anymore, but still very tricky conditions for the drivers. Except for one who doesn't seem that bothered. Norbert Kish ploughs through the field from the moment the race goes green. Overtakes Stefan Fass and he's up to fourth at the start of the second lap. Shortly after, he overtakes Alba Fetti. Lap three, Kish against Calve. The French driver in the Bagheera Freightliner without a chance against the experience of the Hungarian driver in the red MAN Revesh truck. Kish is in second, directly behind Steffi Halm. Halfway through the race, Kish, who started the race from seventh, takes over the lead and pulls away from the field. Steffi Halm in second is under pressure from Calve. Four laps before the end, Calve tries to go around the outside at turn 12 and manages to get past the orange and white Iveco race truck. Halm tries to fight back but doesn't succeed. Calve in second and Halm only in third. 
while Norbert Kirsch, who leads the field, is more than 16 seconds clear of the rest. On the penultimate lap, a battle for second develops between Bagheera teammates Calvay and Lachko. The experienced driver and master in the rain, and he makes short work of his younger teammate and overtakes him for second place. You can hear that something isn't right with Steffi Halm's race truck. It's the end of the race for the German on the penultimate lap. I thought the podium is gone, therefore I parked up the truck, only joking. It was indeed a very drawn out race. I pressed the throttle pedal, but there was no more drive. It didn't matter in which gear. I parked up and waited for the race to finish. In the end, Norbert Kisch takes the win, 16 seconds clear of the field. A similar impressive performance like Adam Latchko in race one. Latchko finishes second ahead of teammate Theo Calve. Norbert Kisch is all smiles. It's the first victory for him at the Hungara ring in three years. And here are the results. Despite taking the win and an impressive race performance, Norbert Kish isn't quite happy with what he achieved today. Regarding the championship, this is not the best outcome um, that we've, we were hoping for. Because obviously winning the first race is more points, you know, winning the reverse race is, is, um, is half points. So actually Adam, uh, did gain on us in the championship. Saturday evening. For the ETRC teams to be prepared as best as possible for the next race, they need new tyres. Goodyear has been the official tyre supplier of the ETRC since 2014. Each race weekend, they prepare and mount the tyres with the greatest care and attention to detail. Lunchtime on Sunday, the two dominant drivers from yesterday share the front row. Norbert Kish on the inside, he was also the fastest in the practice sessions. Next to him, Adam Latchko on the outside. Both scored a win in the wet conditions yesterday. At the start, Latchko is slightly ahead as Kish had a slow start, but he has the upper hand in the first corner on the inside and pulls away. Behind him, an exciting battle for second develops between Adam Latchko and Jochen Hahn. The pair stays close together for the entire race without any overtaking. In fact, there's limited overtaking in the entire race. In the end, Norbert Kish takes the chequered flag with a 13-second gap, his second win of the weekend. Ahead of Adam Latchko and Jochen Hahn in third. The results of race three. After winning the race, Norbert Kish takes over the championship lead, three points ahead of Latchko. Yeah, obviously, it's, uh, this is what we aim for, you know, to be in front and uh, to win the championship, hopefully. But yeah, the second race is, uh, it's always difficult, you know, because anything can happen and uh, usually there's a big fight. But yeah, we try to stay close to Adam to, to minimize the points that he can get back on us and hopefully stay in the lead after the second race as well. The man in the number 25 race truck is a little bit further away from that. Clemens Hecker has been racing trucks for four years. 2020 is his first full ETRC season. Hello. We went to speak Boing. to him in Boing. the paddock. Yeah, best and good, eh? Yeah. How come you're doing the full ETRC season this year? We started in 2016 when I bought an old Scania racing truck from Irving Klein Nagelvort, which we've completely rebuilt and then realized that we enjoy it and that we've got potential. But the truck was nearing its end. That's when we got our first MAN. At the Nürburgring, we were opposite René Reinert, who raced an Iveco last year, and he had his MAN in the workshop. 
der im letzten Jahr das erste Mal auf Iveco am Start war und hatte dann halt diesen MAN noch äh, in Lübbenau in der Halle stehen. Ja, der Cage ist ja noch blau innen drin. The cage is still blue inside. We left that as it's pretty time consuming to paint the cage separately. Ich habe früher Go-Kart gefahren. Und, ähm, dann haben wir lange Zeit I raced go-karts back in the days, then we didn't do anything for a while. We took the vintage cars to the Nürburgring and spent the weekend there, watched the truck races. Und, ähm, ja, das ist immer, wenn man, That's wenn man part of growing up in a haulage company. I then started to collect Scania's, the first ones from the year I was born, then the trucks we used in our company which we didn't sell but retired, and which we still drive. The trucks I have here are both from 2005, some of the last models. This one here has the biggest engine there was back then with the biggest cabin. It's fun to drive. When I get the chance to drive a truck myself, of course, it has to be a Scania. Now he's part of the FIA European Truck Racing Championship. The last race of the weekend is Motorsport Power Excellence. Right in the centre of it all is the young Frenchman, Theo Calvé, in his best starting position. I'm ready for, for the last start of the weekend. Uh, I start in pole position, so for the first, first time in Europe, so it's really good. And uh, I hope uh, the race will be good also. A flying start as usual, and the order for Antonio Albafete. who starts from fifth, right behind Stefan Fass. Jochen Hahn starts from sixth position. He makes a better start than others, and he's right behind Fass as they approach the first corner. Janiek is ahead of Calvé. It's a French battle for the race lead. At the back of the field, Clemens Hecker drifts. Lap one, Kish attacks and overtakes Hahn in the chicane. Let's look at it from the rear view of Stefan Fass. At the end of the first lap, Calvé against Halm, against Fass and Kish. And Steffi Halm benefits from the battle between Calvé and Kish, who hold up each other in the last two corners before the start finish straight. And goes through into second. The rear view camera of Steffi Halm. Kish on the left, Calvé on the right. Half a lap later, the favourite overtaking spot of Norbert Kisch. He goes past Steffi Halm, who takes no risks, and lets the Hungarian driver, who is faster, go through. At the front of the field, Norbert Kisch overtakes Antony Zaniek and takes over the lead. Then, Zaniek has to fend off Jochen Hahn, whose performance has improved throughout the weekend. At the start of lap eight, they swap places. At that point, Norbert Kish is already eight seconds clear. The local hero wins the last race of the weekend at the Hungara Ring. His third victory of the weekend and extends his lead in the overall standings. Hungarian donuts to celebrate. Ah! Norbert Kish might need to extend his trophy cabinet. In second is Jochen Hahn and Antony Zaniek is third. The result of race four, Norbert Kish is the dominating driver. What a weekend for the Hungarian and his Revesh truck racing team. Here is your... To say he's a godfather isn't quite right, but in the dry he is unbeatable. That's always been the case, and you have to respect that. If you drive on your home circuit day in and day out with different cars or trucks, then that's to be expected. I'm happy for him. Now we're looking forward to Misano, where I think I have a slight advantage, then we'll fight back. Calvé wins the Goodyear Cup with Fass and Hecker on the podium. Stefan Faas takes home two wins and is on top of the leaderboard. In the FIA ETRC overall standings, Norbert Kirsch is six points ahead of Adam Lachko and 20 points ahead 
of Jochen Hahn. Norbert Kish is the man of the weekend. And the Hungarian Minister for Sport is delighted as she came to watch her fellow countrymen race on Sunday and to congratulate him.